Hello Taurus, this is Renee and welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general reading. Uh, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising. So wherever Taurus falls in your chart, if this resonates, this is yours. Okay Taurus, we have slow down and rest, you need it. We also have Embrace Your Inner Divine Goddess. What else do we have for Taurus? Meditation for Peace and Serenity. And we have Affirmations for Acceptance. So what are you going through Taurus? Oh my goodness. What does Taurus need to know, Spirit? Give me a message for Taurus. What is Taurus going through? Bittersweet. I feel like you're going through a lot of emotions, Taurus, but I feel like you are you're in need of some solitude, in need of some rest. We have perception. So Whatever it is you're perceiving, now I'm feeling like you are really kind of in this down cycle kind of mood. Now Mars is coming direct on the 12th, which is about the time that I will be uploading this video. So I feel like a change is coming, Taurus. A change is coming. Where you feel down right now, they, with Mars coming direct, that's going to bring more energy to you, more, it's going to lift your vibration, you know. Um, you may find new ambition, new energy, feel revitalized. Give me a message for Taurus. What is Taurus? What's going on with Taurus? The Two of Pentacles. You may be juggling a lot. You may have a lot of priorities that you're taking care of. I feel like it leaves you with a lot of choices to make. Yeah. Five of Cups. Hmm. The Six of Pentacles. The Four of Cups. And the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, Taurus. We have the Five of Swords at the bottom. Taurus, you may be going through a lot of challenges right now. There may be a lot of drama in your life, a lot of conflict. Um, it could be that you're just... going through these cycles of... If you're with someone, you may be doing a lot of arguing, doing a lot of bickering. It may be over money and stability. Um... But I feel like you're kind of at your wits end. You're kind of over it. You're ready to move on to something better. You're ready to... If I'm not saying you're ready to leave the situation, but you're ready to move past it. You're ready to find more balance. I feel like... I feel like you're, you're thinking that this person... This person who's in your life, you feel like the, all they do is take. They don't give. I feel like they're taking so much that it's kind of leaving you with barely anything. And I feel like your emotions are being strained. You're you're just wanting the same respect that you give out, you know? 
and I feel like you're you're having a hard time coming to that situation. I feel like you're you're really deep in thought about the situation. You could be overthinking it too. But I feel like it's really weighing on your mind. It's you're kind of you're kind of stuck in this emotion is is this going to make this person leave? Is this situation or is this worth staying in this situation? You know, is this worth your your work? Is this worth I mean, do you even feel like you're compatible with this person anymore, you know? I kind of feel like you're you're in this stuck emotion that this person is making you work harder than you need to. They're Hmm. I feel like you're trying to have patience in this. You're trying to find a resolution, but it feels like it's so much work. There's so much thinking that you have to do in order to do this, and I feel like you're you're overthinking this situation. You're trying to figure out what to do, how to go about it. Um, because you really want to feel this love. You really want to feel the same love that you're giving this person. But I feel like this person may be incapable of doing that. This person may be incapable of seeing you for how you really are. Because I feel like all this person wants to do is just take. They don't really want to give anything in this situation. And it's leaving you kind of at a loss, you know? You're like feeling spiritually drained in this situation. You feel like you 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 want the answers, but you're kind of scared of realizing what those answers are. What does Taurus need to know about the situation? Give me a message for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know about the situation? Yeah, okay, you had the Six of Wands in reverse. So I feel like, you know, as, as much as I want to say you're going to be successful in this situation, I feel like there's no real answer. I feel like this person just isn't going to see you the way that you want to be seen. This person just, they don't recognize what they're putting you through. So I really don't think that you're going to be successful in trying to get this person to change their perception. And I feel like that's the reason why we have this bittersweet here because I feel like you you really care about this person, but I feel like this person, as much as they may care about you, I feel like they may not know how to show it. They may be the kind of person who really holds on to their feelings. They don't want to express them, you know? It may be a person who controls their feelings so much and so deep that they just show no emotion. Like they don't care about anything. What does Taurus need to know? Give me a message for Taurus. And we have the devil in reverse. We have the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So what you don't see, Taurus, is this person does love you. This person does care about you. But I feel like they're, they've blocked themselves so deeply in their emotions that they don't know how to show them. They don't know how to show you that they see you for who you are. They don't know how to show that they may need help at times. So they just look like they're just taking and not giving the same respect to you as far as giving you what you need or what you're asking for. You know, I feel like this person, this person may be going through some kind of 
darkness of the soul situation, you know? They may have some kind of, some kind of blockage, some kind of addiction that they're going through that they just feel so blocked, so... so obsessed by it that they just can't control it. They have no control over what it is that they're going through. The, this person loves you, but they definitely don't know how to show it. They don't know how to express their feelings for you. And I feel like you kind of feel like this person doesn't care at all because they don't show any emotions. Give me a message for Taurus. And we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like it's going to take some kind of Tower moment for this person to really open up and show some kind of love, some kind of caring. Um, that's the only way that this person is going to open up and show this side of them that you're looking for. I feel like it's going to take this tower in order to create some kind of newness from this person for this to um, open up and to let them know that they're in a safe place in order to be with you. You know, I feel like this person, this person wants to show love. We have the three of cups at the bottom. This person wants to show love. You may need support in this situation to deal with this person, to deal with these emotions that this person has. Because I feel like these emotions that this person has are very deep, deep, deep rooted. Uh, this person may have been through things in their life to where they had to hold back their emotions. They had to kind of cover them up and keep them at a distance so that they didn't feel whatever they were going through um this person may have some kind of trauma in their past but i feel like with this nine of of pentacles i feel like this person wants to control it but they don't know how they don't have the help they don't have the guidance that they need in order to work through this situation this person may really need some kind of counseling some kind of um, professional advisor that is going to help them through the situation. And they may need to speak to someone professionally, uh, whether it be spiritual or professional. But yeah, they, they need to figure out how to work through their feelings, work through these emotions so that they can actually show somebody the same kind of love that they're feeling but they can't express. You know, what is going to be the outcome for Taurus? Give me an outcome. I need an outcome for Taurus. The magician. It's going to take a lot of work. But you do have the ability for a new beginning with this person, Taurus. But it's going to take a lot of work. You also have the uh, Eight of Cups at the bottom. This person has to leave something behind in order to find themselves. They need to let go of something in order to find who they really are and what journey they were made to go on. Because I feel like this person, they're holding on to so much, but they need to release it. They need to let it go. We have the Four of Swords at the bottom. So this person it really needs to recover from this situation. Um, let's see. Let's clarify these cards. Spirit, let's clarify. What is this Two of Pentacles, please? Give me a message for the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. And I feel like this is your energy, Taurus. I feel like you're caught in your emotions. You really feel like you want to support and nurture this person, but you really don't know how. So you're you're trying to look for choices on how to care for this person, how to help them through this journey that they're going on. Um, 
but I feel like it's got you caught in your emotions as well. What's this Five of Cups? The Seven of Swords. Yeah, I feel like there's There's someone around you who wants, who, who is being very sneaky, conniving. Someone's being very envious. Um, someone has a lot of jealousy. This may be this person that you're dealing with. They hold a lot of jealousy. Um, they feel like you're going to let them go. Like you're running away. What is this? Six of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles. The lovers. Yeah, Taurus, you want a love that's equal. Equal give and take. You want a love that is someone giving you the respect, the love, the caring, the same kind of attention that you give to them. You expect that in return. And I feel like with this person, it's going to be a very long battle. It's going to be a very long journey. This person does care about you, but I feel like, you know, the journey to recovery is long with this person. But this person does have love for you, Taurus. They do love for you. They just don't know how to show it. What is this Four of Cups? The Six of Cups. Yeah, there's something in this person's past. There's something in this person's past. Now, you know, this may be reversed. I may be speaking of you, Taurus, but I feel like that's this person. But there's something in the past that's holding the bag. That's bringing on these thoughts. It's kind of like dwelling on past events that keep happening over and over in your head. And you can't really stop them, you know. Um, it's some kind of trauma that went on in maybe even childhood that they're not able to break free from what is this eight of pentacles the knight of swords the knight of swords in reverse so this is going to be a slow process the it, it's going to take a lot of work it's going to take a lot of healing to get to a place that this person is open to love. I mean, to truly showing love. What is the Six of Wands in reverse? Tell me about the Six of Wands in reverse, please. The Empress. This person doesn't feel like they're, like they're capable of loving. They don't feel like they're attractive. They don't feel like they're abundant. They they just feel like they're not worthy. Um, like I said, from some sort of trauma in their past, they just feel like they're not worthy of someone caring about them. They're not worthy of love. Like they're not attractive at all. What is this devil in reverse? Tell me about this devil. What is this devil in reverse? Knight of Wands in reverse. So this person has a lack of energy. They have a lack of passion about anything. They they may not get excited too much. You know, they may not show excitement. They may not show that that love, that passion, that drive. They may be a little bit more lazy, more stuck. And I feel like this person isn't budging. What is this Nine of Pentacles? Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> the Three of Cups. Are all these cards in reverse now? Wow. Um... The Nine of Pentacles. You or this person wants to be alone. You don't want to be around people. You're kind of secluding yourself from get-togethers. 
you may get invitations from people to go to gatherings and you may try to come up with reasons not to go um, I feel like you're kind of drifting into this hermit moment where you just don't want to be around people you don't want to be around family you may be in seclusion at the moment Tell me about this tower. What is this tower moment? The two of pentacles. I feel like this tower moment is a, is a choice that you're going to need to make. This tower moment is going to be a very hard choice. It's going to be something that... This is something that needs to happen, but you really don't want it to. You know, this is going to be a very hard choice. A very hard decision to make with this tower moment. Um, but I feel like these choice, this choice that you need to make is, is something that has to be done. You, you, you really run out of options when you're left with this choice in the tower. What is this uh, Ace of Pentacles? Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. The Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah. You're kind of trying to block yourself from this heartbreak. But I feel like with this Two of Pentacles and the Tower and then the Three of Swords and the, the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like... You kind of see that where this is leading to and you don't want it to break your heart so you're like you're holding yourself back from the situation um, you don't want to feel any regrets but you also don't want to feel any disappointments you know, so I feel like you're kind of guarding yourself. You're, you've kind of bandaged your heart in a way that is kind of like a protection, kind of like a protection from the situation. Tell me about this magician. Tell me about this magician spirit. The devil in reverse. This new beginning is being blocked. It's being... I feel like whatever efforts that you're trying to make, Taurus, um, whatever efforts that you're trying to make are being blocked. They're, they're not being accepted. They're like being... Like this person don't want to let go of their obsession. They don't want to let go of any addiction or whatever it is that they're dealing with. They don't want to let go of these blockage, blockages. They feel like they need them for protection. Um, they're kind of using that as a crutch, if that makes sense. And I feel like whatever, whatever efforts you make, to try to help this person through this situation, I feel like they're just blocking those efforts. They don't want any help. They're they're letting you know they don't want your help. They don't want you to um, waste any time on them because they're just not worth it. They feel like they're not worth it. I feel like this person may need. They may they may need help. They may be at the point where they're suicidal at times, because I feel like this person is just not wanting any kind of help for this situation yeah you know, we have the with the fool we have the queen of swords so they're not taking any any advice they're not accepting anybody's perception of the situation they're not they're not taking in any kind of of thought process but their own they they rather lie to themselves than to hear the truth you know and i feel like that's blocking them for 
whatever journey that they need to take. That's blocking their 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 beginning. What is this Ace of Cups? Tell me about this Ace of Cups, Spirit. The Temperance. Yeah, they see that they need to let things go. They need to let things go and move on because it, it, whatever feelings that they have inside of them is is no longer worthy of their attention. You know, it's no longer um, healthy for them to keep hold of. So they need to let go of these emotions, of these things in their life. They need to let them go and move into um, the Nine of Cups moment, move into their new contentment. But I feel like this person doesn't want the healing. They they want to be in this stuck place. They want to be in the stuck emotions. They are just not finding balance. They're not finding a way out. They just feel like they're being controlled by the situation. And... We have the Two of Cups again at the bottom. And, I mean, the Two of Cups is upright. I feel like this person cares very deeply, but this person, wow. The emotions that this person shows is just so intense, but it's also so negative. So, they're in these unworthy emotions where... They just block themselves from any kind of feeling, any kind of emotion, any kind of love that kind of comes their way. They don't believe it. They rather hear someone lie to them than to tell them the truth. You know? Now look, the Two of Cups again, and I've done um, reshuffle the deck. And we got the Two of Cups again. Wow. I just don't know what to say about this person. This person needs a total transformation. You know what? I'm going to get these cards to see. Spirit. What would this person say to Taurus if they could? What would this person say to Taurus if they could? What would this person say? Wow, will you marry me? This person really adores you. They really have so much love for you. But I feel like they're caught in some deep, unhealthy emotions. Spirit, what what would this person say if they were able to to Taurus? Give me a message for Taurus. Yeah, they feel like they have to spy on you. They feel like they have to see your every move because they they have trust issues you know i feel like whatever they dealt with in the past they're just not able to have any sort of healthy relationship i feel like it's got to be controlling it's got to be um spying it's kind of verging on toxic yeah surrender I feel like you're kind of surrendering to the situation because you don't know which way to go, Taurus. They just want to say, I'm so sorry. And betrayal. They've been betrayed so much. They're defensive, yes. Yes, Spirit, thank you. They're defensive. They don't know which way to turn. They want you to believe me. You know, but we have betrayal again. And I feel like... Oh, Taurus. This person... wants to give you love they do love you but I feel like they're incapable they're incapable of showing you their feelings
Yeah, they need to take time to talk, to see things through, to kind of live in the moment. They need to take time for healing from heartbreak, freedom from a toxic relationship or, di or addiction. Yeah, and I, to be totally honest, Taurus, I think this is you. This is you who needs the healing from heartbreak, freedom from a toxic relationship or addiction. I, I feel like this is you because of the fact that I feel like you're trying very hard with this person you're looking for answers and I, I'm not sure that you're gonna get them when it comes to this person I feel like it's beyond your scope of expertise to help this person you know I feel like this person needs expert help in the situation they need counseling they need some kind of spiritual advisor to help them through the situation. What messages do we have for Taurus? Empathetic starseed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. Yeah, and I feel like this isn't your energy, Taurus. And I feel like if you're around this person for too long, I feel like you're going to be absorbing their energy. You're going to be feeling some of the thoughts that this person is feeling. You may start to feel unworthy. You may start to feel unloved, unfulfilled, you know? And I, I feel like that's not your energy at all. That's not who Taurus is, you know? What other messages do we have for Taurus? Karmic relationships, Oron energy, polarity, soul growth, and conflict. Yeah, so I feel like with this person comes a lot of conflict. Um, but I feel like it is taking you through lessons. It is by dealing with this person, by trying to cope with the situation, I feel like you're, you're going through this spiritual journey that's taking you on kind of growing you know you're you're becoming aware of exactly what you don't want in your life what you can accept what you can accept into your heart and what you can't because I feel like with this person I feel like this is beyond what you can do and I just I just don't know what to say for this person this person is just very overwhelming just to read for them is very overwhelming just to feel their energy just to feel the grief and the the trauma that they're going through is just overwhelming what messages do we have for Taurus what messages do we have for Taurus facing fear Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Yeah. We also have ancestor spirit. Connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. Yeah, so this may be what you're going through. Some kind of family wound. Some kind of trauma that happened so deep in the family that... It kind of is going to, it's going down the line. You know what I mean? We also have downloads and understanding. Truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. So yeah, I, I feel like... You know, this is opening you up to discovering something about yourself that may be pretty overwhelming, Taurus. It may be taking you on a journey. What do we have for Taurus? Give me a message for Taurus. Yeah, transformation. This is taking you on a, a complete transformation of where you've been and what you can be. We also have divine timing and expect miracles. So we also have self-acceptance. Yeah, I think that those are all very prevalent 
for this reading because everything's going to happen in his divine timing. You can't force something to happen. Um, you can't you can't force something someone to feel, you know. But I feel like you can expect miracles. You can, you know, work on yourself and gain enlightenment and acceptance through that venue, you know. Okay, Taurus, if you'd like to pause the video and ask a question, do so now. We'll go ahead and ask a question. Okay, Taurus, we have remain positive. So try to put your positive aspect on the situation. Try to remain positive. You know, don't accept that negativity into your life. Don't fall into that trap. We also have opportunity. So you may have opportunities to maybe leave the situation. You also may have opportunities to heal the situation. Take it as it resonates. And listen to your intuition, Taurus. At the bottom we have trust. Okay, so although we don't have a infinite answer Taurus I feel like spirit is letting you know to remain positive look for your opportunity listen to your intuition and trust okay Taurus this is your reading if this resonates with you uh, please like and subscribe hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads and take a look at your sun moon and rising for more clarity also Taurus um, until the next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.